Our story today is Olivia Goes to Venice. So pack your bags. We are taking a trip to Italy. The red dot is us in Liberty, Missouri. And to get to Venice, we will have to travel over the Atlantic Ocean all the way to Italy. Venice is a city in the northeastern corner of Italy. And Venice looks very different than any city you've ever seen. Venice is made up of 118 small islands and those islands are all connected by small bridges. When we read our story today, you're going to hear some words that you might not be familiar with. So quickly, let's take a look at a few of them. The first one is a canal. This is a waterway that was made by people to help boats connect to a bigger body of water. Olivia and her family are going to travel on the Grand Canal. That is this giant waterway right in the middle of Venice. You can see there are other smaller canals that move off of the Grand Canal. You'll also hear the family asking for gelato. That is a European word for ice cream. Yum! Olivia and her family asked to go on a gondola ride. That is the picture of this boat you see at the bottom. This is a lightweight flat boat that is very famous in Venice. People like to ride on them and they are driven by a gondolier, the person steering the boat. And lastly, we will end our story by a basilica. This is a large public building. It was time for spring vacation. Olivia decided that she and her family ought to spend a few days in Venice. There was a lot of packing to be done. Olivia, you won't be needing your snorkel, said her mother, or your flippers. <gasps> mother, apparently the city is often underwater and, or your water skis. As they went through the airport, Olivia was searched for weapons. She was very pleased. On the plane, Olivia asked her mother about the food in Venice. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. You can get pizza and ice cream everywhere. Everywhere? Olivia was relieved. They arrived very late at their hotel. Olivia was so sleepy, she didn't even notice the view from her window. Early the next morning, they set forth. They crossed a pretty little bridge, and then another, and then another. Wait, cried Olivia. We've been crossing the same canal. I think we're lost, and my blood sugar is getting low. We'll get some ice cream, promised her mother. It's called gelato, replied Olivia. They all decided to have gelato. Crossing a big bridge, Olivia saw the Grand Canal for the first time, lined with its glittering, many-colored palazzos. Olivia said to her mother with an edge of hysteria in her voice, Oh, please, oh, please, mother, can't we live in a palazzo on the Grand Canal? <clears throat> it was a life-changing experience for Olivia. She needed another gelato. Or maybe two. Or three. When she was refreshed, they wandered on. Finally, they passed through a dark archway and into the Piazza San Marco. Olivia was overcome by its beauty. Mother, I think I could use another. Her mother sighed. I think we all could. Olivia wanted to buy corn to feed the pigeons. She held out the corn but couldn't find many pigeons. But they soon found her. After that exhausting encounter, Olivia required another gelato. 
The next day, Olivia begged her parents, Oh, Mommy, Daddy, please, can we take a gondola ride? Gondola, gondola. Olivia negotiated the price. The gondolier waved them aboard with a gallant prego. Tourists. Always too much gelato. Olivia found it very restful. The gondolier did not. They came out onto the Grand Canal and passed under the magnificent Rialto Bridge. Eventually, they emerged out from under the Bridge of Sighs. <sighs> Olivia sighed. By now, Olivia was completely entranced. I must have something to remember Venice by. I must find the perfect souvenir. How about a chandelier? Olivia, that's bigger than your room, said her mother. What about a gondola? Sweetheart, try to find something you can carry. Lace? Very pretty, but not very Olivia. A mask? No, thought Olivia. I'll only wear that once. Perfume? Olivia doesn't really like perfume. Besides, she's planning her own line. On their last day at Venice, Olivia and her family went back to San Marco. The basilica was all peach and gold in the late afternoon light. Mother and father were finishing their coffee. Olivia and Ian were playing by the bell tower. I found it, cried Olivia, the perfect souvenir. What is that, asked her mother. One of the actual stones of Venice, said Olivia, from the bell tower. Olivia, said her mother, if everyone took a piece of Venice, with them the city would fall down. Now leave that with the waiter. We've got to get to the airport. Bong, bong, bong. Mommy, are those bells ringing for us? Yes, dear. They're reminding us we're late. Bong, bong, bong. Oh my, I think we'd better hurry. Olivia turned to take one last look at Venice. Look, they're waving us goodbye. I'll always remember Venice, Mommy. Do you think Venice will remember me? Probably. As soon as she got on the plane, Olivia fell fast asleep and dreamed.